welcome to Asia Can. Asia Can. Welcome to the Asia Can food truck. We're mixing. Uh, my name's Ezra, Ezra Leba, and this is my beautiful wife. Good morning, Sonia Leba. We're mixing uh, two of the most two yummy cuisines together, Latin and Asian. To uh, we're putting together a bibimbap burrito. Now the Asian, the crazy Asian friend Jay, he couldn't be with us because he's in Ohio, opening up a coffee shop over there. So we're gonna do this without him. But when you guys meet him and see these two guys together, it's amazing. I'm gonna start prepping some vegetables, some uh, fresh carrots, some broccoli, broccoli rob. And um, we're adding some Mexican ingredients like avocado and chilies. We have a little bit of red chili beef that we uh, seasoned with some red New Mexico red chili. Got some yummy rice we're gonna throw in there. We're gonna show you how to fry an egg um, over easy so you get a nice yolky, get that yolk going into the, into the uh, white rice. Make it nice and yummy. I remember one of the first times we uh, had this meal together, we were in Taos, New Mexico, and our friend Jay from Korea was here, and we were at a little place called Dragonfly, and they had bibimbap on the menu for breakfast, so I was excited to uh, be able to share that with Sonia. And we're kind of, uh, we're kind of making do with what we have in the kitchen. We didn't, um, we didn't really prepare for this. So we kind of went into our pantry and we're like, okay, what's gonna, you know, a lot of times they have spinach and uh, bibimbap. We have a little bit of chard that we're gonna substitute. Um, I thought we'd add broccoli rob because I remember having a Philly cheesesteak with broccoli, broccoli rob in it and it was really yummy. Add a little bit of fresh snow peas. We got our yummy kimchi to throw in there, courtesy of Trader Joe's. Whatever we have laying around, we still make it work to have that Asian Latin flair to it. I've seen Ezra and Jay cook a lot of meals out of things I had no idea we could do. <laughs> snap peas, sugar snap peas. So these will add a, light, a nice little sweet freshness to it. Get these in the pan. Some fresh onions. Chop those up. back with our beautiful son, Kingston. Kingston. Some yogi shiitake mushrooms that I'll dice up real quick and get those in there. Oh well, yeah, I was gonna say we're gonna we're gonna pop open a cowboy up as well. This is a energy drink that we're affiliated with or we're associated with, and it also help help uh, add a little bit of nitro to the um, experience. Yummy you know, because it's. Uh, all natural sweetened with apple juice. Um, I typically don't drink energy drinks, but this is one that I can drink. Yeah. It doesn't have all the artificial junk in it. Well, you're on, you're We're on working food. on getting Jay's application to us so we can get it well, to you. We're on the food channel right now as we speak. We are determined. We're I said you are on the food channel right now as we speak. We're filming. So yeah, Jay's in Ohio. Yep. And we're sauteing some. We're sauteing some broccoli, broccoli rabe and some uh, carrots in a pan. We're gonna add a little bit of vinegar to give it that kind of pickled feel. I'll have that in here. And then I uh, put some red chili in and with some ground beef. And I'm gonna cook that up as kind of the beef of the meal. A bit of, I have some sesame oil, we have shiitake mushrooms. Um, we're gonna add a little bit of avocado in there to give it that Mexican flair. Yeah, this is the bibimbap. Um, I made some really yummy um, white rice last night with, uh, I added a little bit of vinegar and some uh, some seasoning in there, a little bit of soy sauce. <coughs> I do have sesame seeds. Okay, cool. Add that on top of the burrito. Bye. That was our friend Jay. He's in Ohio. He's. Uh, Run in right now to get the application filled out for you guys. Um, he gave me some good advice to add some sesame seeds at the very end to give it uh, that, to give it that I guess you know, to give it that Korean feel. We're gonna add a little bit of vinegar to give it that kind of uh, pickled feel. So instead of like actually having to sit there and um, pickle something for hours and hours and days and days, this will kind of infuse that sourness of um, a, pick, a, a pickled vegetable. 
that is one thing for cooking, our seven-year-old daughter loves the smell of vinegar. <laughs> so typically with this dish, um, they use like a, it's almost like pepper steak, like a Korean style marinated pepper steak. Um, to make it a little quicker and use what I already had in the kitchen, I added ground beef and I added some seasonings, some seasonings to it with a little bit of um, soy sauce and some chili powder. And that'll give it a nice yummy, yummy flavor. The chili is kind of cool because it kind of ties the two cultures together. Um, they use a lot of chilies over in Korea and just in Asia in general. And then um, Latin cuisine, um, particularly Mexican cuisine, you know, they use jalapenos and chipotles and uh, serranos and other peppers. That's what I have right here. I have a serrano. This is what I had in the kitchen today. So that's um, going to add some yumminess to it. If we keep the seeds in there, it'll add some nice spice to the meal. chilies and those will cook a little bit take away from some of that heat but it'll also infuse some of it into the meat make it nice and yummy we'll turn this pan off and just let those sit those are perfect it's smelling yummy it's smelling delicious the nice meat the chilies the soy sauce the red chili killer flavors this is going to add the uh, band to it for real. I always love cooking because I watch the Food Network channel and be so inspired to just go and try my own thing and kind of take a little bit of what they've shown me and then add, up, add the things that I like to eat too. And Ezra, he grew up with his mom cooking really simple food so he always wanted to turn it into something more. Like, take, take it over the top. Yeah. And he does. <laughs> and then just, you know, do something different. Um, you know, it's, um, have something that you've never had before. Add something to one thing, mix two cultures together so that you're just not eating the same old, same old food over and over. Um, one thing about, I'm adding a little bit of citrus. I'm adding some lime to it. And that's something that's, um, that's a common thing between both cultures also, the lime and the citrus with the chilies. So that's ready. I was born here in New Mexico, and um, I, <coughs> I grew up on a Mexican cattle ranch. So we're doing, you know, we'd cook things inside the, in a pit. Um, we would bury a lamb, cook that. We would uh, do lots of barbecue things. We had, you know, fresh, fresh meat, because we were the ones that were growing it. And when I moved to Ohio, I met my friend Jay, who's a Korean. And, um, you know, we hit it off, we're like eight, nine years old, and I would go over to his house and his mom would make this, uh, she, she did kind of like a uh, Korean kind of American fusion. She would do these yummy spaghetti dishes with chilies and yummy goodness in there. So that's where I met Jay and I would, every time I went over to his house, I was eating something crazy and exotic and new that I've never had before. And that's where I, that's, I saw his brother. His brother would always eat with chopsticks. And at like 10 years old, I was fascinated because I was like, how in the world does, you know, he's eating rice, like grains of rice with his chopsticks, <laughs> like flicking it into his mouth. So I kind of, uh, you know, through my teenage years, I started using chopsticks and I was like, I, I, if he can do it, I can do it. And then once I started figuring it out and doing it with it, it was almost like an extension of my two fingers, digging into the food and eating it. So it became more of a, more of a, um, you know, like a intimate experience where you're kind of like, doing that with the food and it actually in a lot of cases is easier than a fork mm. so you know I, I thought that was interesting once I got into it plus it helps you eat slower I got some yummy eggs some uh, extra dark yolk eggs that add some good flavor to the meal some of this yummy rainbow chard up before we do the egg and I can you know so if you sometimes if you forget to do uh, uh, item like this for example we can do this afterwards add it to this and then move on go back to uh, frying the egg up 
So I'll get this done really quick and we'll take that so long. <laughs> Because it's good for memory and focus. Are you frying or scrambling? I'm frying them to get the yolk. Yeah. That would easy. And then when I flipped it, I turned the heat off and I just let it finish with the heat of the pan. So it doesn't overcook. It's not cooking the yolk. It's just kind of finishing off the whites. in there. Oops. That is a fatty. <laughs> that is so big. We add a little bit of touch of veggies. I mean we don't want to overdo it. This is just complimenting the complimenting the experience. And then so we got our veggies in there. Now this is optional. You can add some avocado. Some avocado will add some creaminess to it and this will kind of mock the cheese, you know, it'll be like a cheesy, creamy kind of thing. Plus everything is better with avocado. And then you could finish it with some sriracha, or this is called uh, Sky Valley, yeah, sriracha sauce. This will add this Asian hot to it. Or we have chahula, which is a Mexican hot sauce, which is my favorite. Um, Chalula. It's, um, it has a lot of flavor, you know, there's more stuff in there than like Tabasco or something like that. It's got more of a tomato-y kind of thing going on. I think I'm gonna go with the shriacha because that's what I'm used to putting on my uh, bibimbap. So add a little touch of that, a little line across the top, and then we will wrap it up so if we can. And the kimchi? Oh, the kimchi, yeah. Hold on, let me take a little bit of the rice out. I think I want a little heavy on the rice. I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll throw that back in there. There we go, that's better. We got our veggies. Oh yeah, and then a little bit of kimchi on top. That's gonna add some of that yummy goodness, mm. that soury, fermented crunchy. cabbage taste, that crunchy yumminess. So, let's see. Uh oh, we got a, we got yolk going. So if we got yolk going, we'll go this way with it, I guess. And there is a bibimbap burrito. Now, if you wrapped it a little tighter, you could fry it in the pan with a little bit of oil and get some toast on the tortilla. You're gonna do that, right? I'm not gonna do it with this one. This no, one's... no, no, the next one. Oh yeah, we can do the next one like that. Yeah. But we're gonna taste this one and see how it is. Okay. Here we go. Good. The cheap, the um, mm. meat's delicious. A perfect fusion between Asian and uh, Mexican. No, oh, I just got some spice. A bibimbap burrito. You know you want some. <laughs> mm. So get us on there, and we'll come cook one of these for you. You can even splash some lime on it. Mm. A little extra. Mm. Wash it down with the yummy cowboy up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I miss like the bloopers. Uh, the bloopers, yeah. <laughs> I was dancing around like. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> 
Okay, yeah. would you buy that? I could juggle knives. No, no. no I shouldn't do that. Yeah, don't juggle the don't knives. Don't juggle the knives. He does juggle. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> oh my god, that's fabulous. Yeah. Not too so, you want to buy it? It's a little spicy. These are kids, by the way. The oh, on the couch over there. This is our friend Zyla. I mean, it's not as spicy as that avocado. Dip. Yeah, so I've had. I've had. Zion, Wilson, Lillian, Jamaica, and Kingston hiding out over there. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. And we are the Labor Tribe. Yeah. 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 Oh, I should have so said that. Slice. Yeah. That is Asia can. Yeah. Oh, that's the, the oh, Mexican Burrito. Asian oh, fusion. On the spot, on the fly, take what's yummy and add those two different uh, cultures together. And, you know, it's a, I, and I think it's like something that they go well together because a lot of the ingredients complement each other. And those two, and Asian and Mexican. And I've been, you know, I've Wait, seen a lot of Latin Asian flair kind of fusion things, but I've never oh, I've seen anything like this. So we want to bring it to you.